What's going on guys? Welcome back for another Chivalry 2 Weapon Guide. Today we're talking about a fan favorite, one of the most important weapons wielded by everyone from brand new players to the most experienced footmen on the battlefields of Chivalry 2. This time, we're covering the Halberd. The Halberd is a long and heavy pole weapon wielded by the footman Pullman and is the starter weapon for anyone loading the game up and selecting footmen as their beginning class. With master level maneuverability, the Halberd can be one of the deadliest weapons in the entire game and has the reach and combo ability to show for it. Being increasingly deadly with your growing skill level, the Halberd could be a game long main weapon and provides some of the most fun out of any weapon in Chivalry 2. Looking at the in-game stats, the Halberd has 100% reach and around 33% speed and damage. This may not seem like much, but paired with the chop multiplier against knights and footmen, you'll have an edge in combat, especially when in full team scenarios. I always find myself getting plenty of takedowns because as I take on one or two opponents, I'm also hitting enemies that are fighting my teammates around us. This is a huge help to the team most of the time, and provides a survival bonus that most other weapons do not have. When we look at this graphic by the creator of Polehammer.net, we see the true stats. 83% reach, 20% speed, and 77% damage. These are quite different than the in-game stats, especially the special and heavy damage, which the in-game stats leads you to believe is much lower than it is. Looking at the two-handed axe comparison on Polehammer.net, the Halberd is the slowest out of any axe in the game, but also has one of the highest ranges, second only to the Glaive which you should check out my guide for after you watch this video, of course. Please finish this one first, I do need my watch time after all. The Halberd also has the highest stab damage, but unfortunately this can be an extremely difficult attack to successfully pull off due to the speed and obvious movement of a stab initiation. The weapon itself is very balanced compared to the highs and lows of the two-handed axe comparison, making it a very viable weapon for beginners and high-level players alike that could carry you through the entirety of your experience with Chivalry 2. Taking it back to in-game stats, let's talk about the weapon perks for the Halberd, which are middle of the road compared to other weapons we've covered on this channel. Faster combo times is easily one of the best in the game, providing decreased time in between attacks when they're chained together. Unfortunately, slower windup does affect this and makes the Halberd take longer to initiate attacks in general, so even with faster combo times, this weapon won't necessarily be faster than other axes like the Glaive and Dane Axe, or even the Executioner's Axe depending on the combo. Finally, increased special damage drives up the damage multiplier when using special attacks, but as I've mentioned before, there really aren't too many great openings for landing a special attack mid-combat, so that leaves this perk useless unless you're catching an opponent off guard by faking a retreat or attacking from behind. This brings us to how devastating the Halberd can be in certain situations, especially when fighting more than one enemy, since with slashes you'll be dealing high levels of damage to multiple targets while keeping them too out of range to use most weapons in the game. The length of the Halberd also allows you to stab and overhead multiple enemies at once, which could easily end fights quite a bit faster than if you had to hit individuals one after another. It's sort of an all-in-one type of weapon that allows for a unique survivability factor that most other weapons in Chivalry 2 do not have. That is, if you could work around the slow speed with dragging and excelling attacks correctly. That's why I would say the Halberd has a significantly larger learning curve than other weapons that could just be picked up and used like the Longsword and Dane Axe. As for weapons that make it a little more difficult of an experience, I find that spears are hard to come up against because they deal quite a bit of damage from long range and their speed makes them a formidable match for the halberd. Try to work around the stab attacks and hit from the side. I've noticed that most spear users are good at interrupting overhead attacks from such slow weapons as the halberd, but excelling slashes around them could steal initiative and keep them pinned, allowing you plenty of openings to land a killing blow on one of their soft parts. For a good combo to work with, the Halberd has plenty, but I find that my go-to when using it is Slash Overhead Stab Overhead. Stabs deal the most damage, but are super obvious as I said before, while slashes will also be very easy to recognize. Use these attacks to initiate a feint into overheads and you'll be able to boost yourself into range and dash backward before the bad guys can even get one of their attacks off. Your range is a lot further than most of your enemies, so this should work 80 to 90% of the time, and as you can see in my footage, it is one of my favorite maneuvers for the Halberd. It's great that new players can use this weapon right away, because in my opinion, this is one of the best to learn mechanics with. I always felt like the Battle Axe was quite a weak weapon for new players, so I'd always recommend starting as either a Footman or Knight as opposed to a Vanguard like I did, because even though leveling Vanguard will get you things like the Highland Sword and Maul, Footmen and Knights have way better weapons for just learning the core mechanics of the game. 
Alright, that's it for me today. I hope this video helps you get out there and do some destructive things with this awesome weapon. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, and take care. Chronic, out.